All right, we back with another episode of Incompetent Cooking, and we're making another soup dish. Um, the soup is a uh, soup is a recipe I got from my got from my friend. Uh, well, it's her friend. Well, it's from my friend, but it's from her grandpa. Grandpa, I never met him or anything like that. She just gave me what was necessary. She was, she just gave me all the uh, items used for the soup. So I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know exact measurements or anything. I just had to wing it. All right. First up, I'm just uh, cutting up this this whole like small chicken. Remove the spine and like um, like separate the joints. I don't think you have to do this. I don't know why I did it honestly because it's just gonna go in the pot of water for like five hours anyways. Um, but you can do this if you want to. I don't really know if it's necessary. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that did. I don't know if I didn't ask if the grandpa did it. Anyways, um, uh, just kind of like how. I did with the other soup, uh, put in some vegetable oil first, um, and then I'm just going to put in the whole entire chicken and let it, just let it get a little bit of a crust on the bottom because the fucking pot is not big enough to actually, uh, you know, cook, I'm not going to swirl it around, I'm just going to leave it in there, just, I don't know why, you know. And then I'm just going to cover it up with water, I'm going to cover about two, two bowls, I don't know, I just, just enough to cover the, just cover, just enough to cover the chicken. All right, and right here I'm peeling some carrots. This is around six, seven carrots, but they're all different sizes. So um, let's just say five medium-sized carrots. I don't, I, you know, honestly, er, honestly, I don't. When cooking, I don't really uh, use measurements or anything. Baking is a whole different story because you might fuck it up. But cooking is honestly just how you feel. It's all really about like what taste you have. If you don't like carrots, you don't put as many in. You know, if you don't like garlic, don't use garlic. Anyways, just remove the tips. Is it the t no, not the tips, the the heads? I, I don't fucking know what the hell you call it. The, the the root part of the of the of the of the carrot. I'm gonna chop it into like a uh, half inch or one inch chunks. Um, and then well, they're obviously different sizes because you know they're not they just don't go straight down. Anyway, what the fuck am I talking about? All right, I'm gonna take a uh, what is that? A bundle of celery cut off the, the 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 top the the bottom I don't know what the fuck that part is you know just cut off the part that holds it all together all right I'm cut into thirds don't worry about the leafy stuff it doesn't fucking matter all right make sure you wash your vegetable that shit's nasty okay two medium sized tomatoes I don't know how many tomatoes is supposed to go in so I just said two I'm gonna chop it into quarters and that should that should be good um Tomatoes, like since it's a very watery fruit, if you if you um, if you put it in the soup, most of it will disintegrate. Honestly, like it'll be you won't really see any like essence of the tomato left. You'll just get tomato flavor, uh, which is pretty subtle. Um, I don't. Uh, okay, so the recipe that my friend gave me required uh, like one large onion, but I had this like leftover quarter of an onion left, so. Uh, I'm gonna chop this into like four parts, and because I removed the the thing holding it together, it's kind of like f falling apart. But that's honestly fine; doesn't really fucking matter either. Uh, I'm gonna chop this into four parts, and I'm gonna grab another onion that's about medium size, and I'm gonna cut that into about uh, eight equal parts. So, uh, yeah, you know, cut it into fourths, and then cut it again. Man, I should have fucking cut out this onion part. Man, why the hell did I take... Okay, I apologize for this long part of me cutting onions. I should edit it a little bit better, but now it's too late. Um, peel off the outer stuff in the onion, because it's dried, and it is nasty. Um, God, why the fuck did I put this in? <laughs> I, should, I should have edited this, man. This is, now I just don't know what to talk about while, uh, while I'm just cutting the onions. Um... So how the day? Okay, okay. Now moving on to something else. Three garlic cloves. Um, the recipe didn't specify any garlic, but I just put in three cloves towards the end. And very important part: just skim off the nastiness while, like, after your chicken's been boiling for around like 15, 15, 20 minutes. Um, if you don't have a ladle, uh, what you can do is put your straw in and put a take a straw in there and sip up all the disgusting stuff. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. It sounds oh, that makes me cringe just thinking about it. All right, this is the better that better than bouillon stuff. I put in about two teaspoons, uh, which is equal to about two cubes of that regular bouillon stuff. So put that in, just for some extra MSG flavor. I'm putting in all the vegetables. 
uh, I swirled, I swirled it around for a little bit, and I'm about to put a tablespoon of tomato paste in for flavoring. I don't really know, uh, but it's the recipe, so yeah, I know if I missed a step, she would probably go ape shit on me because it's like her favorite dish. Um, swirl it around. Uh, it was a struggle to get it off the get it off um, uh, the. The, the the spoon so you're gonna see me struggle here for about a <laughs> for about 30 seconds all right never mind I cut that part out actually and right here I am mincing the garlic I, I you really don't have to mince the garlic I think but I just did it just so like later on when I got the soup I wouldn't have like a big chunk of garlic left in there all right I should get I should get a garlic mincer but those things are like 14 bucks for like only one use so I'd rather just mince the garlic myself Alright, I'm gonna swirl it around a little bit just to get the ingredients all mixed up. Um, people like different pots. Well, like okay, now I'm adding in more water. Different pots, you know, that you know the length and the width like differ a little bit, and I really don't know how much water I put in, but you know, just enough to where it's almost covering the pot. Don't don't get get it over the top because if you put it to a rolling boil, it might boil over. That's not very good. All right, uh, you see a lot of onions, the chicken's at the bottom, which that's not gonna float. You don't really see any carrots, carrots are on the bottom. And then after four, four, four hours, you get this um, this reddish, orangish um, soup and then the oil on the top. Don't worry about that. That oil is, you know, you don't have to like skim it off or anything. Um, because the whole chicken has the skin on, um, plus the oils, um, I mean, yeah. But because of the ch it has the skin on, there's a lot of oil in it, but you don't have to worry about like if it being greasy or anything like that. It turned out pretty good, especially since tomatoes like anything like kind of sour kind of cuts through that. Um, so that's not really a problem. All right, I don't know why, but fucking she told me to actually separate the chicken from the soup. You know, just take out chicken, take out the chicken. But it was a pain in the ass because the chicken, after like four hours of boiling, um, it, it became really tender. So. I was just pulling out bones for like for like 15 20 seconds before I actually got any part of the chicken. All right, that's the entire chicken. Um, now I'm actually going to make uh, about two servings of soup for myself cuz after this I'm, I'm fucking hungry. It's been like 4 or 5 hours, man. I haven't eaten anything. Um, so I'm just ladling in uh, the soup. Uh, the vegetables, you can honestly throw it away or you can eat them, but uh, it's probably it's it's pretty mushy after all this time, so you can throw it away. Um, um, because most of the nutrients and stuff like that it's already um in the soup. Right here, I'm using uh orzo pasta, which kind of looks like um like rice, and I'm actually probably, probably putting in way too much, but um you can measure how much. But the soup, the soup's not fucking clear, so I can't see the bottom, so I don't know how the fuck much I'm putting in. But I ate it all anyways. <laughs> um, Orzo noodles, uh, you can use whatever noodles you want, but she recommended orzo, so I just use orzo. Any kind of small pasta, don't put in like fucking lasagna sheets, you idiot. Alright, um, just like most chicken soups, you want to shred the chicken. Um, this is a pretty easy step, I just use my uh, tong, tong, tongs. Are these called tongs? Yeah, I think they're called tongs. I just use them, split them apart. Pretty easy, I think this is actually uh, chicken breast meat, which is falling apart and even though it looks dry you know if you put it in soup and honestly it doesn't really fucking matter you know it, it it won't it won't be dry if you put it in soup and it's not very tough because um soup is on low heat so um yeah what the hell am i talking about you just hear me here patting the chicken um uh, because you know show you the demonstration <laughs> Um, all right, now here gets the plain bar. Actually, at the, you make sure to season your soup because the soup doesn't really have like a very salty flavor. So I forgot to season it, but I cut it part. I cut this part out actually, but I cut the part out where I actually had to. I realized I didn't put any salt in it, and I had to dump the soup back in with the chicken, and I had to put salt and pepper on it because right now I didn't really. It was pretty bland because I didn't put any seasoning at the beginning. Um, but I'm not gonna show you that part because it looks tacky and makes me look very very dumb. Um, just throw in chicken, and um, this is basically the soup. You can't really see any of the the noodles because um, they're very small and probably sunk to the bottom. I like maybe this is just me, but I like my noodles 
very soft. You know, I don't like that al dente shit. And oh my god, my fucking screen turned off. Oh, oh shit, how do I stop? Alright, here I'm just gonna take a bite. And it was hot ass butt because it came out the thing and you see me moving around. Anyways, it was very good soup. I liked it more than the other Binging with Babish recipe. Hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time.